Hey guys, Nayesh here. So welcome back to Base Room and Kernel episode number four. In this series, we try to find base room and kernel combination to help your phone reach its maximum potential. So in my previous episode, we saw how Ryzen kernel can give you extremely good battery life with Havoc OS. And this week, we have Crimson kernel, and we are going to pair this kernel with our favorite Havoc OS. And this combo will definitely take your phone to next level. Because with this combo, not only you get good performance and battery life, but you will be updating your display from 60 hertz to 66 or 67 hertz. So make sure you watch this video till end because I'm going to show you how you can install this in your phone and how you can get the same performance as I got in PUBG. And most importantly, how you can update your display from 60 hertz to 67 hertz. So let's get started. So in this base room and kernel combo, we are going to install Crimson kernel with Havoc OS. Now Havoc OS comes by default with Azure kernel. Now it's up to you if you want to keep that, that's your personal choice. But after installing Crimson kernel, you will get the smoothest experience in your phone. So in my previous episode when I installed Ryzen kernel, I was getting maximum of 60 FPS in PUBG. And if you understand gaming, then you might know that PUBG is already locked at 60 FPS. So no matter what you install, you just can't go beyond 60 FPS. But the magic happens when I install Crimson Kernel. Crimson Kernel overclocks my display from 60Hz to 66Hz and that's why sometimes I'm getting 65 FPS in PUBG. And that's magical. And just to be sure, I checked my display in different apps. And each app is showing my display is at 66Hz. So what's the benefit of overclocking your display? your app opening time, your day-to-day -day use, and especially when you're scrolling something on Instagram or Facebook will be smooth. Normally on 60 Hz, you will see some kind of lags when scrolling. But after installing Crimson Kernel, you will feel you just bought $1000 flagship phone. Now obviously my phone is not that expensive, it's just $200 phone, but the performance I'm getting is insane. After installing this kernel, your phone's temperature will remain constant. Doesn't matter what you do, your phone temperature will always be under 30 degrees. And now let's talk about the battery life. You will get around 7 to 8 hours of screen on time. And if you want more battery life, then watch this episode of Base Room and Kernel Combo. The charging speed will be slightly faster. You will notice at least 20 minute difference when you charge your phone from 0 to 100. Multitasking and RAM management is just outstanding. Now your phone doesn't refresh your apps when it's running in the background. So after flashing this kernel, now my phone when charging doesn't become extremely hot. Now it stays on normal temperature while charging, even while gaming. So in PUBG, now you always get above 60 FPS. And in the game, if you're doing some kind of activities which require more FPS, then it can go up to 65 FPS. The good thing is when you play it for hours, your phone will never lag or you will never face a random reboot. And because of the 60 FPS, now the gameplay is faster than ever. It's smooth, it's snappy and the screen touch response is definitely faster. So if you're into mobile gaming and if you play games like PUBG, Call of Duty, Free Fire, then you should definitely install this ROM and kernel combo. And now I will show you how to install this kernel in your phone. So first of all, go to description box below and download this kernel.zip file. Then we are going to reboot to our recovery. So before you install the new kernel, we are going to backup our stock kernel. And for that, go to backup and select only boot. Now right swipe. Now this will backup your stock kernel. If anything goes wrong, you can come back here and restore your stock kernel. Now go to install, locate the kernel, right swipe to install. It will take around 30 seconds. Now reboot your phone. The first boot might take around 2 minutes. So once your phone is booted, go to settings, go to about. So if this kernel is not available for you, I will provide alternative kernel links in the description. And guys, if you like my English channel, I'm sure you're gonna love my Hindi channel. I'm trying something new over there. Subscribe if you can and I will see you tomorrow.